Hello everyone, I am Paul, and welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Emerald version as I attempt my first Nuzlocke. After, after working on it yesterday, I spent some time doing some basic grinding off screen, and I have considered what I'm going to do in this situation, and determined that my plan is, whenever I do off screen grinding that is not recorded, it will be done only on routes I have already been on, so I will not be progressing further in the game until I am recording. With that being said, I did some holding up with the team while I could. Cattail is now at level 9, Lobo is now at level 8, French Fry now at level 9, and Leon is still at level 9. The team is doing well, but I haven't been able to catch any new Pokemon yet because I don't have an old run. For now, we are now in Pelberg Gym, so I need to get the story moving so we can move on and try and get to Roxanne's Gym. Yep, because we have to talk to Wally here. He magically finds a Ralts in this route that where you can't find one. Oh good, this part is unskippable, just what I needed. Okay, we're gonna go to Rusperro to fight Roxanne, can't fight my dad until after I get five, once I get four gym badges. Okay. Oh, right, this guy. I don't remember if you get a gift from talking to everyone first, after first helping Wally or not. Yeah, not yet. It's a little after. And Route 104. Finally a now new route to start on. Okay, so first things first, we need to prepare for a new encounter and try and avoid trainers for now. I don't remember if here's where I get the old rod or elsewhere. Nope, I think I get it elsewhere. Edge Carp shouldn't be too hard to deal with, it's probably what he has. Yep. We should be okay. So, um, while we deal with this fight, something in mind is I took a look at Roxanne's levels for Pokemon, because she has three in Emerald. So just get a good feel for everything regarding the overleveling system. And how I am going to play it is... My plan is, I'm the way I'm going to play it is that... What the highest level of the gym trainer's Pokemon is, is the maximum I can go to. I can't go higher than that. So if say, so in Roxanne's case, the highest they have is 
Nose Pass at level 15. I can't level over level 15 until I beat her. That's how I'm going to play this. Nice. I want to see if I can sneak around this trainer first. Okay, first encounter. Let's see who it is. Ooh, a Meryl. Okay, that could be good. That could be good. Let's see. I can't use Absorb as that would kill it like instantly, so we're just going to use a few Astonishes to weaken it, so weaken it. Meryl isn't like the greatest one to have, though maybe once we get to Azumarill, I'm not sure, but it can work as Death Fodder. I think that's going to be weak enough for a Pokeball. As soon as we can buy Great Balls, I'm probably going to pick some up. I just prefer being safe than sorry. And if it runs away, that counts as the route encounter. Nice! Uh, bait. Bait the Meryl, I guess. Because it is basically going to be a combination of death fodder and just simple bait. Okay, Pelberg words. First encounter. Come on, a shroomish, a shroomish, a shroomish. Okay, that's not a shroomish, but it's okay. That's okay, because we have a Vuchiana. Just a Shroomish would be really helpful, because then I can level it up to Breloom and get a fighting Pokemon. Nice, Cattail is up to level 9 now. And still we didn't learn new move. Okay. Uh, technically Wurple's a new encounter, so I think we're going to have to do this. I don't think this will kill. Come on. Okay, yeah. Because it's not very effective. That did too little damage, though. Level 5 is pretty low, though. A Wurple could be helpful, but we'd have to, like, really level it up and get and work with it. It could be helpful for dealing with Psychic, though. Okay, let's try it. I'm not very good with name with nicknaming, so just bear with me. Oh wait. Webster. Okay, and yep, Webster's now on our team, though extremely weak. So we might as well just start playing him out to get some XP and bring Leon back up because we're going to have to deal with the team Ogle Grunt fight soon. 
just swap it like that for now. I'm probably not going to bother right now with leveling up bait. I'm trying to get bait some XP. Darn. The bug Pokemon team might have to switch off of Leon. No, not Leon, might not have. Yeah, just level 3 Wormpole Soap, but probably not Webster for this. Ooh, yeah, Poison Sting. Okay, that's helpful. Yeah, let's stick with French Fry for this one. Nice. I think level 9 helps there. And French Fry is just another Pokemon, once again, level up more, that will be a good one for Roxanne because of Water Gun. So just know he should have a pretty solid team, even without a Breloo, or even without a Shroomish, if I really wanted him. Nice. A heal. Good. I always go full heals. I don't like the individual ones because they're too situational. And yeah, we'll definitely have to return to Pellberg Woods soon because once we get cut, a lot of areas open up. Yeah, I'm looking for a Shroomish too, buddy. Uh oh. First team Aqua Fight. Ooh, ooh boy. Okay, he just has one Pokemon. Okay, he's got level 9 Poochiana. Okay, let's see. I think we might as well go with Leon for this. Okay, Pound does slightly more damage, because I think we're going to do that. Ooh, that was a good tackle. Nice, that one missed. Okay, let's go with another Absorb to get a little more health. Sweet. Okay, that was a close one. Well, not too bad, but still. I'm tougher, you're just really weak. Nice, we got a great ball from it. Okay, uh, let's carefully work around here. Probably not a trainer, if I remember correctly. Um, no, Leon's okay on health. I was considering going back to the Pokemon Center, but I think we'll be okay for now. Gotta deal with another bug catcher. Okay, just two. Ooh, he's got an Inheda, nice. And Webster's already level 6. Good. And water gun. Sweet. Alright, and Kato's bug ground type. 
Okay, almost level 9. Yeah, one more fight on French Fry should get him to level 10, which will be really helpful. Okay, one Ether, Ether that's helpful. Yep, I can't get through here yet because I need cut first. That's going to be after we fight. Hmm. I think I'm going to take these orange berries, equip them, and then see if we can get through the double battle and just reach Respiro. If we lose someone, then we lose someone. It's going to be a gamble, but we'll see what happens. Sweet, got Bullet Seed. Okay, that's really helpful. Yeah, um... I really need Leon to get some new moves, so we are going to give him Bullet Seed right now. Now, after we switch him with Webster, and switch Webster with French Fry to be prepared for the battle, then we're going to go bag. I don't want to just instantly use use the TM like this, but it'd really be best to teach Leon this one. Cat Tail could have used it as well, but Leon, I just really need more Boasted for Roxanne to be ready. Okay, let me get the watering. We only pale just in case here. There's only one more cow. And yes, this is technically a new area in Route 04, so we can get a new encounter here. But first, let me use these orange berries and start doling them out so that everyone has one handy. just to be safe. And yes, I'm going to probably get the quick, I will definitely get the Quick Claw and Rustboro before we fight Roxanne, so I'll make sure to have that as well for fighting her, because that is a really helpful item. Yep, and there's a potion up here. Again, not healing until after fights, but it'll still be really important for a sequence like, for a part like this. Great. Yeah, I think that's a rich boy Winston. Or something like that. Yeah, can't cut down the specific tree. Okay, let's see if we're ready for this double battle, because this is unavoidable. I think this is the game where double battles are introduced. Because triple battles and rotation battles were introduced in black and white. Yeah, C dot and a low tad. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. But Leon and French Fry is going to be a helpful one here. I'm going to try a supersonic because water gun won't do much. Okay, decent pound. Great. Okay, now let's alternate. And then after this, I may switch to Puchiana to just try and get more damage in. Nope, got an Astonish. Not too bad. And C dot hurt itself. Great. I'll try and kill the low tad. And swap you for Lobo just to be ready for this. I'm lucky that they're only level 6. That goes a long way in this fight. Nice, low tad's down, and C dot should still be confused. Neon evolved, very helpful. French fry evolved, even better. And Lobo got some XP from coming out. Okay, C dot got another hard. Yeah, we're just gonna pound and tackle. Come on. Ah, so close. This would do it. Wow, 
All right, very helpful there. Really glad I won that one. Um, I think that guy has all fisherman armor quickly. This lady gave me a very, very nice fur. Yeah, you gotta really talk to the NPCs now. Oh, and they give you a lot of great stuff. Some lava berries. Yeah, and Leon is still my lead Pokemon, so I should be able to beat him just using some bullet seats, especially if he's all Marge. Yep, more magic cards. Yeah, this should just be a good spot to get some XP. Very nice, almost level 11. This is gonna go a long way. Okay, don't check this area over here, just in case. No, that means we are already in Rustboro City. No, I'm not gonna visit the Pokemon quite yet. What I'm going to do is... We're just going to do some quick errands here in Rustboro, and then prepare to take on Roxanne, but probably not in this episode. I'm going to have to do some more grinding and just preparing things. Give this Cutter's house, so I need it cut from here. find the school. Yep, trainer, Pokemon trainer school. Do something real fast. Got quick cloth. I don't remember any other students having anything, so go to bag, items, give, and quick cloth. Back when I played with my Magikarp, with my Mudkip, not my Magikarp, he, Magikarp, Mudkip, Swampert. Mudkip kept the Quick Claw for almost the entire game. It's a very useful item. So yeah, now that we're in Rustboro, what all we're going to do is just take on the very first... Technically, they're all avoidable, but we're just going to take on the very first trainer in the gym to get a feel for the levels and make sure that I have what I need to be ready for Roxanne once I level up some more. Yeah, oh, level 10 Geo, dude. okay. Good sign, good sign. Super effective, but I am not in a place to take on a level 15 nose pass yet. But yeah, that's super helpful, just getting some more XP, like so. Oh, gladly. 
There we go. I now learned who attacked this earlier. That's very helpful. Yeah. One thing I will do is I'll just fight the second guy and then call it a night so that I don't have to do a double battle. Really, really be best if we not lose a Pokemon here because um, the team's doing well. He's got two, but they're also weaker. So I'll start with Leon on this first one, then switch to French Fry and see what happens there. Let's stick with Bolt Seed because we've got a lot of power points. Yes. This guy alone got me to level 12, so now let's bring up French Fry a little more. Very nice. So yeah, um, I'm not too concerned move-wise. Roxanne, I just need team the team to have a high enough levels that they have enough hit points. Okay, that was a really good start. So let's just get out of the gym, go back to the Pokemon Center, save. The next time, I will probably do a little more grinding, now that I've gotten the Pelberg Woods unlocked. And then just, we'll probably start the next episode by coming in and dealing with Roxanne and moving the story along. And that does it for today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed the series and check out more of it. And hopefully I'll see you real soon for it. Take care. I'm Paul, and thanks for watching.